We just want to briefly take you to Canberra. There's another big event taking place at the moment. The uh, former chief of Woolworths is copping a grilling at this uh, Senate that's been led by the Greens. So let's take this for a minute. Are, please answer the question about ROE. Senator, with due respect, we focus on our return on investment. All right, I know what you're focused on. Thank you, Mr. Mandel. I, I, I know what you're focused on. You've been very clear about that. Let's talk about your ROE. Do you know which country has the most profitable banking sector in the world? Senator, I don't. No, you don't. Fair enough. It's Australia, Mr. Banducci. Do you know what the average ROE for banks in Australia is? It's less than half of yours. It's about 10%. We have rapacious banks in this country, either the most profitable banks in the world or close to the most profitable banks in the world, and you are making two and a half times their return on investment. What have you got to say to that? Senator, you just quoted return on investment, and I'm talking I'm sorry, to return equity, on investment. On return on equity. And our return on investment is 10% post-tax. The our EBIT margin, which your our net profit after tax, which we talked to, is two and a half cents in a dollar spent at Woolworths Group. I understand. Our I understand the figures. Dividends, I understand the it's figures just you over want to 3 talk about. percent right now for the incredibly important 350,000 retail investors that hold our shares. Indeed, at the moment, it is lower return on dividend than you might get for money in the bank. Mr. Banducci, I understand the points you are making, and we will come to those points later. I assure you, I will, I will absolutely ensure that you get an opportunity to talk about your margins, talk about your average margins. OK, it looks like some strong stuff there. Again, that's being led by the Greens, that Senate inquiry, Brad Banducci in the hot seat at the moment. So if you want to continue watching that, folks, it is on Sky News Extra.